um, it couldn't be more befitting than to put me in, in front of uh, some of the uh, paintings and the pieces of art that we see here. And thank you to the artists, because I wanted to say something about maps and keys. Uh, a visit to Palestine, uh, first of all, uh, is very much uh, about uh, maps. People will come and show you maps. This is where I used to live. This is where Palestine is. This is where our people live. And the maps become very, very important. Exactly how they are drawn, exactly how the borders are drawn. And unfortunately, the maps change. Because on the other side, they also show maps. Uh, and the Israelis show maps. And they move the borders. And they move, uh, did I do something? So the maps are important also to the Israelis. And there is this constant focus on the maps because they represent something. They represent uh, a dream, uh, I think, of, of the future, what it could be if we could uh, agree, if there was a, a peace agreement or a peace deal maybe these maps could be realized. But they also represent history. They represent something that was and that has to be recognized by everybody. This is where we come from. This was our land. And I also learned that people walk around, and Palestinians still walk around with old keys in their pockets to homes that they once owned, or maybe homes that they have never been to, but belong to a relative or somebody that once had a house somewhere to live, a key to a place that was their own, the, uh, a place that was Palestine. So this is why it is important, and that's why I, the first thing I saw was the key, because I wanted to say something about this. And I carry this with me from my visit to Palestine. Um, the fact that this is uh, so important to know your history, to um, uh, to uh, honor and to cherish your your history, but also to think about the future. What could it bring? And unfortunately, we meet at times that are extremely worrisome. And uh, I I hope that I have clearly enough expressed my dismay. And, and shock and anger and sadness over what happened in Gaza. Um, today we uh, got the figures that more than 110, 110 people dead. And uh, um, how many wounded was the last thing? 12,500 people wounded uh, with deadly weapons. So that's the count. Of, of victims of, of the violence. And I, we also see that there are so many sad things happening to what we were hoping would be any process, so, uh, any discussions about the common future, but uh, that has come to a, a standstill and even a reverse, because with the move of the, uh, the US Embassy to Jerusalem, a lot has already been affected in a very uh, negative way. Um, and unfortunately, this is all, has also meant that many young people in both Israel and Palestine have lost hope in the two-state solution. Uh, and I think maybe that is the reason why there are few smiles. Um, the reality does not give and everyday life in, in Gaza or elsewhere does not give many reasons to, to smile. But we had to put smiles on the faces of young people. We had to continue to insist that there, this is the one solution we have to hold on to and believe in and work very hard for to, re, to be able to realize. And that is what you can count on Sweden to continue to do within the European Union, but also in the Security Council and in the United Nations. Um, and only if we agree that there is an alternative to that would we change the course. But this is where, where we have to uh, put focus. And we have to mobilize friends of, of Palestine throughout the world. We have to make sure that UNRWA gets the funding it needs 
to make sure that life can change in, in the Gaza Strip because otherwise there is a disaster uh, awaiting. And already we've had uh, several of these wars and disasters uh, striking, uh, uh, striking Gaza. And I can only say that you know how we <coughs> How, how much we care about uh, Palestine. You know that we are a friend of Palestine, that we will continue to hopefully fight uh, with you and for you, and we will fight for a two-state solution. We will remain a close friend. We also, as with friends and real close friends, we will also tell you things that you might not like to hear sometimes. We will be able to criticize because this is what the best of friends can do as well, to be helpful, to find a way forward. And I think to allow more women in, Allah, you yes. think you share my view, more Absolutely. women into the, the process, more women into the organizations and more young people, because it is for them that we also have to look to the future. And we do that by looking back and remembering and honoring uh, not, but what we have to look to the future. There has to be a, a future. And, uh, and this is also why still so much of beauty and still so much of colors and everything that we give us hope. So I, I thank you uh, for, for inviting me. Um, I uh, want you to know that we will continue to, to do our best uh, in all the contexts where we have some political influence and uh, just uh, wish you uh, all the best and thank you again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.